drive. Hey, this isn't an air blast for you, Jason. Sit back and watch the master. I know more than you think. See, there's the pressure indicator, so I know exactly what's happening at the nozzle. Actually, Jason, that's a myth. So, where does the pressure that I read in the cab come from? Well, most sprayers read their pressure somewhere before this kind of a manifold, like for example here. But after that manifold, we have screens, we have length of tubing, we have possibly elbows and other obstructions that create a pressure loss. Oh, I see. So we could be spraying at a lower pressure at the boom. The nozzle may not be operating at the pressure it's supposed to be operating at. Possibly, yes. As we try to maximize travel speed range with a modern sprayer, we often end up pushing spray pressure to its limits on the low side and the high side. For many air-induced nozzles, spray quality and fan angle become critical at about 30 psi. So we need a way to know the difference between what we read up in the cab and the pressure that we're really getting here at the boom. Right, and that's where we use something like this. This is a little pressure gauge that fits onto your nozzle body. Just replace a nozzle with a pressure gauge and record the difference between cab and boom. Do it for each boom section. Well, this sounds like a really important part of sprayer calibration. Catch! My turn to drive! 